Everybody, it's the homie Truth Teller, the street reporter. You know, uh, lately a lot of people have been asking me about a lot of shit that's been happening in the drill culture. I don't really like to rewaken up shit like that all the time, but people got to understand. Because I get a lot of people DM me, and a lot of people be upset with some of the blogs that I be doing. You wouldn't be surprised that it's a lot of people and a lot of artists, family members and shit that DM me and shit. And I have to let them know sometimes that, you know... I fully understand where everyone's coming from, but at the same token, these guys are drill stars, drill legends. So, you know, people want to know about these guys. And a guy that a lot of people always ask me about is a guy by the name of Lil Steve. Uh, I believe that's Memo 600, brother. You hear that name a lot. That You hear it in raps, people saying, on Lil Steve, on Lil Steve, you hear it. So it's hard from like us bloggers and drill historians, because I'm like a drill historian. I've been documenting the culture for a while. It's hard for us to like back past these stories when people asking us about it, uh, especially coming from Chicago. We actually in Chicago right now, cameraman. If you could let them get a view, we have to close it up because it's real bright. If you can see, we actually in Chicago. It's some real dope structure. You see that? It's like one of the best dope structural places that's out here. You can actually see, see the cars, people just living regular life. And you know what I'm saying? It's not always about murders and dramas. That's why I want to show y'all like downtown because, you know, it's not always about the hoods and shit. And it's very dangerous out here. I'm going to tell you guys how dangerous it is. Actually, Friday, a day and a half ago, uh, out here, a bus driver got shot in the face. Actually, on Michigan. We might we might end up going through there. Uh, it's a bus driver. Man, this happened. A guy got on the bus. I guess the argument happened with the bus driver. And he blick, 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 blicked him in the face, man. Right in front of the cultural center building. Yeah, crazy. You see what I'm saying? Um, you want to know why? But this is another thing why I'm telling you guys this. That's the reason why we document these stories. Because Chicago become trendy. So a lot of people ask me about Lil Steve. We all know the story about him. He actually lost his life due to gun violence, like walking by alley or near alley. You know, some guys popped out and pulled the guns out on him. And you know what I mean? It was time for that. They pulled the guns, got to Blake, and he lost his life. Uh, the newspaper says that he was warned and shit like that. Uh, I don't really know about that, but I guess it says that somebody warned him that it was like guys in the alley or some shit like that, and Steve ended up losing his life due to gun violence and shit like that. We all know the story. Allegedly, somebody told or whatever. We all know the story, uh, but um, I think that story is real deep. A lot of people didn't get that story. That story went over a lot of people's heads. This actually happened in 2011, so this was like way, not way, but this was like before the drill culture really popped off. You know, this probably like when it was first started or maybe like a little bit before it started. So that's just to show you guys that the hatred always been there. He lost his life, I believe, on 60th and Prairie, you know, out there in those neighborhoods. Um, that's crazy, though. You get what I'm saying? That just shows you that the killings, the murders, it been here. It wasn't the rap music. The rap music just... It's the only reason a lot of people like us and you and, you know, average fans know about it. Because these guys started getting recognition for their music, but they were just telling the stories of what was going on in their communities. That's crazy. So I don't think a lot of people understand that. And they like the story like Whitey. Uh, when King Von say, Whitey got killed, I seen it. You know, when he say that, I think that song go over people's heads because a lot of people don't understand. He's talking about an event that happened, like, before the drill culture popped off. Or like, not like, like, like before the drill culture popped off or like before it got to that level, you know what I'm saying? It was just showing you that the killings, the hatred, the murder, the wars between sets and shit, the rivalries, that been here. And you know, if it wasn't for the drill music, like Chief Keep, to be honest, if it wasn't for Chief Keep, we understand Pac-Man, King Louie and them was doing this shit a while ago. Uh, buck 50 boys and whatever but if it wasn't for Keith getting famous you know the world probably will never know about this underground crazy smoking ops with the 30s shooting blicking type of lifestyle we probably wouldn't even know about that shit like that it'd be here but it wouldn't be as mainstream as it is Chief Keith brought that shit to light you know his music talking about what was going on in those streets Growing up in O Block. You know, people don't know this. When people talk about O Block, I'm going to tell y'all something too about O Block, man. Because a lot of people talk about O Block too before we get up out of here. A lot of people always talk about O Block. You know, it's people want to move to O Block. I don't think a lot of people know that, man. It's people actually want to move to O Block, you know? 
You know, you can't, uh, uh, and that's the thing that I think, I think the killings, the murders and shit overshadowed that. That is a, 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 a apartment complex that has a lot of families in it. And you guys know about like 10 rappers and shit. So, you know, those rappers don't speak for that whole apartment complex. I don't think a lot of people understand that. But that's the, oh, that's, you know, that's the BD headquarters. So don't get it twisted now, you know. You can fuck about that thing, taking what I said the wrong way. But what I'm saying is, you know, it's families and regular people who live out there who don't want to kill people. And there's some people out there live out there that think this is a dope place, it's a historic place to live. So it's people actually want to fill out applications to move there. As crazy as you might think that shit sound. And I ain't saying this shit ain't, I ain't saying that normal. But I'm telling you that the shit is what it is. You feel me? But like I said, we in Chicago, can't even think of motherfuckers look at this. Man. We in the rap, you feel me? And you can see we in some good old Chicago. You know, uh, I love this place, man. I love the energy. I love the atmosphere. I love the air. I love looking at how the people dress. I love listening to how the people talk. I love seeing people walk past with their kids. I love seeing some of the guys out here teaching the young youth. I love looking at some of you fine ass women walking past. I love everything about the city. It's just too much damn violence, though. We got to cut that violence out. I love this place. I want to hug this place. You feel me? But one thing about this place is there's too much violence and it's too much angriness. That's 